Welcome to another episode, Sailing Ruby Rose. There is so much noise because there is so much going on in this factory. This is hole one, Ruby Rose two over there, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight holes in production. Today we're looking at electrics, battery installations. The electricians are speeding through, windows are going in, the front is on the boat, the bowsprit is in, a beautiful piece of kit, lots to show you. Enjoy this one, it's gonna be great. So let's jump on board hole number one and see exactly what we've seen since we jumped on last week. Yeah, a real hive of activity. There's a lot of electrical work going on here. This is uh, a battery box. So the battery box is going in there. So what else have I got to show you today? Now, the side windows. These guys have been prepping this for ages. So as you can see, the guy is using a little multi-tool to make sure that is perfectly honed down all fair down to bond the side windows in and of course the side windows in that toughened tinted glass all there now that they put the cross beam back in you can see that ankle area everything put in here the size of this is huge and then underneath there we have the private carbon fiber bow sprit. that is beautiful to see carbon fiber extendable bowsprit so if you are going to be working the foredeck literally I can sit here so I'd say that's about a meter long the fact that you can sit here is actually a real bonus and actually you know what there's a backrest here literally I'm on a floating platform it's wicked yeah loving this and honestly this foredeck is huge yeah Nice. Let's start firstly, let's walk down this side deck. This is obviously the starboard side deck. Inside, so much to see going on as we head down into the cockpit. There are workers everywhere. We are really ramping up into a different stage of production here. Now, as we head into the saloon, there are a lot we can see. Now, this is obviously where the settees are going to go. Now, the entire master vault system is in place minus the batteries, but there are huge wiring looms, isolator switches for the batteries, and again, everything. I actually have an absolute bent for the looms and how neat everything is here. Now, if we remove this cardboard box, what we can see is that this metal box has the bus bars in place. So again, the electrical system on this boat is absolutely huge, 24 volts, and it's gonna have to be stepped down to 12 in parts. But again, bus bars for fuses so that everything is easily accessible. And this is really, because of Ruby Rose, I know that actually being able to check the fuses, check the bus bars, is something that you need to do sometimes very, very quickly. Um, we've had issues before with things like the windless fuse dropping out and things tripping. So again, knowing where all these panels are, where everything is clearly labeled for future maintenance and obviously for problem solving with electrical issues. And again, for those of you who may have watched our episodes in the BVIs, there were some issues with just a stray earth with a, a tripped switch. And again, this is gonna be super useful for us to know exactly where everything is. Everything will be labeled and easily sort of easily resolvable using just flow charts. So inverter charger for us, again, master vault, because we are gonna have some pretty complex systems on the boat, with the inverter we are gonna be running on, you know, while we're at anchor, things like washing machines, hair dryers, and we're looking up to like three kilowatts here, three and a half kilowatts. So again, lots and lots of power requirement. Moving to this wiring loom, this runs all behind the chart table. So again, underneath the chart table, you can see um, where all the charges are, charges for the batteries, easily visible and something that we, again, from a maintenance point of view, find very, very uh, useful. Now, if we step down into the port or the master hole, you can see where everything is going on here. There is a lot of cabinetry that has now gone into place. Again, talking to Miriam last week, they, they are definitely working with mixed materials. So we've got areas which are gonna be covered in fabric, we've got areas which are wood faced, and then we've got that twin gel coat in light gray and white. So again, it should be absolutely, like really a beautiful area. Now the templating, as you can see, looking at the headlining, anything that you see in green from past videos is where they are still templating and they template in this green MDF to make sure that as per the discussion on a motorbike, and yes, I do understand that vlogging on a motorbike is dangerous. 
Um, but if you can see where this green headlining is, this is where the CAD design hasn't been finalized. And so what they are doing is they're taking the CAD design and turning it into actually um, a template. So again, a mixture of colors. These panels will be fabric covered. Then we look up to these large windows, the white gel coat. So we've got, I think in our case, it's gonna be a gray, a slightly gray fabric, uh, white fiberglass, gray fiberglass, and then this oiled ash. I, honestly, I think the final look is gonna be absolutely amazing. And obviously then we go into this whole drama about bedding and soft soft furnishings. And obviously this is a completely different chapter, um, which is probably more based in sex in a city than actually boat building. So oiled wood at the back, facings. Um, I think this is ash and then this kind of like fairly neo retro cabinetry with the shapes are all cut out for the handles. So again, an interesting design. I, as it all ties together, I am absolutely sure that this, from a visual point of view, is gonna be super, super beautiful. Also, just something to notice is that it's aluminum, aluminum for our European neighbors. Track has been put in place and this allows for the privacy door to be, for the master having to be sort of like placed. But there's also additional storage here for small pantry items. So as this comes across, I'm not sure this design has been finalized, but again, interesting to see it as this comes into play. Stepping down into the starboard hull, what do we have here? Well, again, the this lady carpenter, honestly, she's amazing, but she is finishing off the carpentry in the small cabin. And as per last week, it's not exactly a small cabin. It is bigger than the master cabin on Ruby Rose. But again, all the fiddles in place, the templating is now in place for the surrounds, for the windows, and this is really tying together. So really, it's not gonna be long now before this is gonna be signed off on and we'll be working towards actually getting mattresses and, and obviously finishing this off. One thing to note, there is a guy here working on the steering linkage. Now, this is super important. The steering linkage is put in to tie the two wheels together. Everything all coming together. So between technicians and alike, we have everything in place. So follow me, walk with me, walk with me. I wanna just show you a couple of other little things that I picked up on while during my inspection today. Inspection, it's not a inspection, it's just me fanning around with the camera, clearly. So what do we have? The helm seats. Actually, we talked about this before, about the helm seat design and how it wasn't finalized. Now we actually have a helm seat for train, that's in line. So we've got this box, which is obviously, that's actually backwards of the helm seats. Obviously, everything we put up there. The batteries have now been installed. This guy, this electrician is working so fast. European, Australian electricians, be aware, these guys work super fast. This electrician, yep, working super hard, all installed there, lovely. Guys, they're working pretty hard. That extra window's in, let me just have a little look at that. So they are bonding that window in. Beautiful, 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 beautiful piece of glass. Quick move around the factory. Electricians just honestly going absolutely gangbusters here gangbusters. Ruby Rose 2. Want to take a swing around this everyone? Want to take a swing around it? I know that you're all asking well how far behind hole 1 is hole 2. Ruby Rose 2. So what have we got here? Stainless steel from Midway all in place. Let me have a look at this space. Uh, what else do we have? Obviously this stern section where we're going to put the life raft all in there. So we've got a completed hull we have got completed helm stations. Obviously, it looks super, super dark in here because they haven't cut the windows through. So we've got a whole area that needs to be opened up. But because they've done so much work on one, two should be straightforward. Target arching, carbon fiber coach roof in. All good. Three over there, four there. And then let me just take a quick walk through because I know that some of you are actually really interested in batteries. That is five. Okay, so hang on a second. Let's just do some counting. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. They have seven boats in board. And they're just releasing another one and they're infusing another. So here we are. So did you enjoy that? This boat really is coming on. She will be in the water before too long. Two's coming on, but we're looking forward to test sailing whole one in the new year I should imagine if you enjoyed that give us a like give us a thumbs up leave a comment if you want to see life in Vietnam let me know what you want to see I will be back next week you enjoy yourselves stay safe everybody bye bye